Hello and welcome to the second part of the shopping cart tutorial. In the previous part, we created the structure of our application and we created the split app application layout. And now we are going to create our categories inside our master pages. So to do that, we are going to create a new view and we are going to name it as category. Hit finish. Right. And before we start adding our content inside our create content method, we are going to access our model. And I'm going to paste this inside a service which is going to prettify this model. So this is our structure. Now, if you look at this closely, we have the collection which is the root node, and it contains an array which contains two objects. And this is what we are going to access uh, and this is going to be our categories, right? So <clears throat> let's go ahead and create a list. So for all list is equal to new sap.m.list and this is going to accept an object. We're going to write an ID and this is just list ID and now we are going to bind the items with the list. So olist.bind items. Again, this is going to accept an object. So we define our path over here. So our model is products, and we are going to access the root node, which is collection. And after this, we are going to add a template, and this is going to hold our list items. So new asset new sap.m dot standard list item and this is going to accept a title and we are going to give the title as it is coming from products now we are already in this path and now we can directly give this name which is category right so we can copy that and paste it over here so it is going to print the category over here and the type is going to be navigation because when we click on the category we should navigate to the subcategory so i'm going to write sap.m dot list type is navigation and when we click on one of the item it is going to be a function and it should get into our o controller and it should trigger this method which is category list item press and we're going to pass the event over here and after this we are going to pass this list inside our content so this method is not created yet uh, we'll quickly create this method I'm going to delete everything from here and this is going to be a function which accepts an event and we are going to write the implementation later on right and now we are going to add the routes because when we are in the home URL which is this there are no parameters so we are going to <coughs> add a route that if the pattern is null it should load the category view and we need to write it inside our component over here so we can write if the URL pattern is not having anything then we are going to name this route as default route and it should get us the view which is the category view and the target aggregation we want this view to be inside our master pages right and now if we preview this inside our browser it is going to give us men and women right and now when we click on this it should navigate to our subcategories so we're going to do that uh, but before that we're going to create a new view and we are going to name it as subcategory And as it's going to be our JavaScript view. So our view is created. And now let's get back to our category controller and implement this method. 
So here, first we're going to get the router. So for router is equal to sap.ui.core.uicomponent.get router for this. And now we will get the binding context. So we can write for context is equal to event dot get source dot get binding context and we need the context for our products model and let's print this and see what we get so let's refresh this page inspect element get into our console and now if I click on one of the item I'm getting this particular object and we are interested in this particular index because this is the index that will be passing in our URL so how can we get the index from this string uh, to do that first we know that we need to get s path that's the item that we need so for path is equal to context dot s path so this contains our collection this particular string so from here we will try to get the last index of our slash so we can write for start is equal to path dot last index of slash so this is going to give me the position of this but we also want to exclude our slash so we are going to write plus one and now we can get the category index by typing path dot string and we want to start from here and we want to get the length so this is the start position uh, in this case it is going to be this so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 it is going to be 12 and this is going to be 14 so we'll get exactly this particular value now if we try to print cat index let's see what we get So I'm getting zero and here I'm getting one and that's the value that we will be passing on our URL. So we are going to navigate now, nav2 and we are going to navigate to category that is the name of the route which we'll create in a while and we're going to pass a parameter whose name would be cat index and the value will be cat index which we are getting from here. And now let's create a route whose name is category. So we'll get into our component.js and here we are going to write a route. So if the pattern is category and we are passing our cat ID, so we are going to uh, cat index, I think. Let's verify that. Yes, that's cat index. So if this pattern matches and the name is going to be category, that's the name of the pattern, which is category. And from here, we are going to call the view and our view name will be subcategory. And we want this to load in our master page. So we, get, we just copy our target aggregation and click on one of the item it will take us into category so this is the category index that we need and we are going to create a context and bind it with this particular view so that we can get the items of this particular category which is men uh, to do that we are going to get into our subcategory controller and we can delete all of this and we are going to uncomment our onInit method 
and we're going to get the router here so this dot router is equal to sap.ui.core.uicomponent.getRouter for we pass our controller instance and then we need to type attach route pattern matched and if it matches then we are going to call a function which is handle route matched function and we're going to pass our controller now we are going to create this function here and this will pass this will accept a parameter which is the event and now we are going to check what is the pattern name right so we can do that by writing if event dot get parameter name is not equal to equal to category we are just going to return it and this won't be executed but if it is category then we're going to proceed further so here if you look into the url Uh, when I click on men and it is giving zero so this is what we want and uh, this is the cat index so let's get the cat index this dot cat index now I'm using this dot cat index because I will be using this particular value in other methods as well so when I write this dot cat index it is going to make this variable global right so here we are going to write event dot get parameter arguments dot cat index and now if we try to alert this index this dot cat index let's see what we get so we are getting zero which is the same value as this uh, so this means that we are no more dependent on the previous view which was the category view and after we get the cat index we are going to uh, create the context and var context is equal to sap.ui.getCore by id and we want to get the context of our application and the, this application is nothing but this so we are trying to get the context from there now here we are going to get the context which is collection slash we are going to pass this dot cat index plus this uh, we are trying to get the context of this so this is the zeroth element this is the first element so after collection we are getting into whatever uh, category item we select and we get the context that way and after that we are going to attach this context with our view so this dot get view set binding context and we are going to bind this context um, with our products right and now we can go ahead and write the code for our subcategory view so we are going to create a list is equal to new sap dot m dot list and this is going to accept an object and we are going to give the ID as S list ID and after that we are going to set the mode sap.m dot list mode dot single select so it is not a multi select we can just select it once and when we select it is going to trigger a function with the event and we are going to call our controller and call this function which is event select and now this function does not exist so we'll quickly go and write the function over here 
and we'll implement it later on. So after we are done with this, we are going to bind this list. It's the same way as we did our uh, category view. So first we create the list and then we bind the items like this. So we are going to write o list dot bind items and here we are going to set the path. Now if you get into the subcategory controller we are already inside this path. So the path that we'll be giving here will be relative to that particular path and as we said we are already here and the next path is items and subcat. So we are going to get inside this particular path so that we can access the subcategory name, right? So I'm going to write here items. Sorry, it should start with products. That's the model name. And then we write items and subcat. And after this, we are going to write the template and it will be new standard list item is going to accept an object and we'll, we are going to bind this title with the model so products and we are already inside the subcat so we can just write the subcat name which is this and then we are going to pass this list inside our content and now if we go ahead and refresh this page is going to get us the subcategory right and we would like to put an icon over here which is going to be a cart icon and to do that we can write header content and <clears throat> this is going to be new sap.m dot button and this is going to accept an object and and write our icon over here by specifying sap dash icon and we need the icon of a cart and then on press of this icon we'll write a function but we'll do the implementation later on and now if we go ahead and refresh this page we get a cart icon and also we need a back button over here so that we can get back to our master page and to do that we can type show nav button is equal to true and when we when we click on this nav button uh, we have to write nav button press and when we click on this button we would like to get into our controller and write a method for going back and we're going to quickly create this method and we're going to write the method go back and we're going to call this router so this dot router dot nav2 now here you can specify either a blank pattern or you can specify the name of the pattern which we have as default so I'm going to just leave it blank and refresh this page we have a back button over here and when we click we get back so that's all about this part and in the next part we'll get all the products in the details page and display them inside a table so stay alert and thanks for watching